Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Arising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. How are you doing? I hope you're doing super fantabulous. This read is for September 2024, okay? And I'm super excited to be with you. If you're not part of this family, go ahead and hit that like, that share, maybe even subscribe, guys, and come hang out with me on Instagram, where we do live readings for happy hour on Tuesdays between the hours of 5.30 p.m. and 6 p.m. Central Time, okay? Central Standard Time, not Eastern, Central, okay? So come hang out with me. Hit them alerts over there on IG so you can see when I go live and when I post. And I do the pick a cards over there and other videos that sometimes I don't get to post over here on YouTube because I get to work and I just run out of time. <laughs> I'm a busy lady, guys. Now, with that being said, the way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general reading, go into singles, couples, and all signs. Everything will be time stamped. Hit the parts you like. Leave the parts that don't resonate for someone else, big baby. And if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Let's get into this read, all right? So, September 1st, Uranus turns retrograde, 27 degrees, Taurus 27 comes down to a 9. There's a lot of big endings and a lot of big changes, and this energy is going to be going on until January 30th, 2025. Now, this is bringing up a lot of tension with wanting big, big changes now. Okay, and it's a little spontaneous energy because Uranus is one of those planets that's like, let's do it. Let's do it now. My youngest was born during a Uranus transit for me. She was coming no matter what. Okay, and she did. Now, along with that energy, we have Pluto retrograde. Okay, Slow, take a little easy up there. Okay, Pluto retrograde going back into Capricorn. Okay, and it's going to stay there until October 11th. Pluto, Pluto has a lot of strong energy. Like we say, chiquito pero potente. Okay, so be prepared for lots of changes and lots of revelations coming to the forefront. On the second, we have that new moon in Virgo, 11 degrees of Virgo. All right, master number. Great time to focus on our personal goals and your protection. What are you doing to protect your energy, your time, your essence, and your being? All right. Now, on the fourth, Mars enters into Cancer. Mars, the planet of action, is swimming in some waters. A lot of emotional decisions, a lot of emotions flying high. Be aware of that as you're making decisions and drive safely. On the ninth, Mercury enters into a Virgo. <laughs> okay, Mercury likes Virgo. Okay, Mercury's like, hey, I'm at home here. I like it here, all right? So lots of communicating. People are really expressing themselves well. Um, pay attention to the details. Now, on the 17th, we are in kickoff season. I'm not talking about NFL, baby. I'm talking about eclipse season in Virgo and Pisces, and it's off into the races. So this is the first one, and it's going to be Pisces, 25 degrees. You are focusing on answers during this time you're going to find out things that maybe you've been questioning for a long time during this process and things are going to be revealed to you and for those that work with the energy of odin you may be seeing a lot of ravens all right and on the 22nd it's your season happy birthday happy birthday to some of my favorite libras okay favorite libras i love you so much my one of my one of my I would love to, I wish I talked to them more. Keona, love you. Athena, adore you. I don't know where I would be without you. Um, I have a lot of Libra friends, but those are the only two names that are popping in my head. It's been a long day. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me and being my friend through everything. Now, Venus enters into Scorpio also on that day, so get ready for some freaky dicky energy. Oh, that's what I like. That's what I like, baby. That's what I like. So this is the part of the reading where we ask a yes or no question. I couldn't find my gatitos. So I will apologize. My nose is really stuffy. My allergies are bad. Yes or no, right here, okay? Overall energy is the king of pentacles. This is a great investment. This is a time to put yourself first. Finances are going to fall into order and you may be getting offered really amazing things this month. Okay? Because it's your birthday, baby. Okay. For question number one. Okay, you got your question? It's a yes. It's the ace of swords. Talk about it. Be, a baby. be about it, baby. Let's do the damn thing. Let's initiate it. Put your money where your mouth is. Or put your mouth where, where, however you say it. Yeah, I always mess that up. But it's going to be some good vibes. For question number two, 
it's a yes. Nine of cups. All your wishes will come true. I don't know, friend. You have some beautiful energy going on. So your animal energy this month is El Perrito. The dog is showing up and it says be disciplined in home and community life. For me, when I think about the dog, I feel of like um, connection is going to be important for you. Loyalty is going to be shown this month. You're about to be revealed who's really there for you and who's not. All right. Now, your energy for this month is to have the courage to face things. Take that leap of faith. Go for it. Do it. And don't be afraid because, baby, you're amazing. All right. And astrologically, uh, the sign of Leo could be very important for you. Maybe something happened in Leo season. Maybe you just love a Leo. Like, I'm a Leo. Maybe you love me. I mean, we should be besties. Or pay attention to where Leo falls in your chart and see what, what's coming in there. This could also be about incorporating more romance, spontaneity, fun, enjoyment, and childlike happiness in your life. And shine, baby. Shine and be proud, Libra, okay? Now... With that, we have your energy, your first card coming in is that of the willow, okay? When it comes to love, pay attention to your second house, your resources, things of that nature. But this is about you standing tall and being proud of where you're at, sticking to business, not letting people take over any kind of aspect of your life, and knowing where you stand with things. This also makes me feel like, you know, the willow tree, it can, it can sway and stuff, but it doesn't get uprooted very easily, okay? And be prepared. You might be hanging out with some new people, meeting new friends with common interests with you. And um, don't be surprised that if you're single or if you're dating someone, they want you to go meet their friends. Okay? Like, hey, come to my friend group. And Libra's like, I can't because they're all going to adore me and whatever. Some of y'all might even be getting a surprise party. Mm. I just ruined it. I'm <laughs> just like, surprise. Okay, where did the cards go that I wanted to use? So, let's look at a general reading in love. And I apologize. I have got the sniffles. Ugh. I hate when I'm like this. My allergies get really bad. Okay, let's see. What do... Oh, I need to do your oracle first. What do they need to know when it comes to love? What does Libra need to know when it comes to love? First card, give it time, okay? Let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Manifest. Give time for your manifestations to happen. Don't be pressuring the universe, okay? And you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all right? And caution, all right? Find out more information. Don't get yourself all worked up. It's going to be okay. Why are we giving it time? What is going on here? Love. Love takes time to grow. This is also be very aware of what your wants, needs, and desires are. Um, you're telling the universe exactly what you want to know, but I think what you're going to see is you're going to find out someone's not as loyal to you as you thought they were, whether it's a friend or a lover. And water sign is coming out as competitive energy. The other woman, look over your shoulder. But baby, we ain't sweating the small stuff because we in a new chapter of life. Pew, pew. Okay, we in a new chapter. So whoever thought they was going to come slither in your life, they got another thing coming. All right. Oh, I can't feel like I'm getting a cold. I don't want to get a cold. I'm going to take some um, zinc in a minute. Okay. We were unsure about something in the past with the Seven of Cups. We're not sure where we want to put all our energy at. But the Wheel of Fortune said, don't worry about it. I'm going to take control and I'm going to move all that trash out the way. And look at that snake trying to come through. And you are what? I'm motherfucking bothered. Okay. We're not bothered here. The Seventh could be important. Now, the Hermit is coming out, and I feel like there is also something about a trip that maybe you're about to take or you just took. And then we have information coming in with the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So, and the Queen of Pentacles. And the song that came into my head was like, people like talking, talking about people. Mm-hmm. Bonnie Raitt, baby. I'm showing my age. However, two queens showing up in your read. There are people at work that are admiring you. There's also a situation where you might be rising to a new position. You are also increasing your knowledge, moving forward. You did something in silence, and you don't give a damn about what's going on. What's interesting is she's looking at this backstabbing card, and she's like, oh, you thought you were going to get me? <laughs> I got you off with their heads like very 
<laughs> like whatever I don't have time for this you think you're gonna slither in here and ruin my future you don't have a chance but at first you were a little bit unsure of yourself but you're going from a page to a queen and you're cutting things off because you are moving forward financially and you don't have no time for the BS okay very interesting very very interesting okay this is where we go into our single 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 singles Singles and ready to mingle. I love it. <laughs> Let's see, Libra. What do we need to know? Distance. So you might feel emotionally distant. You might be at a physical distance. We might be distant lovers. There's something going on with that. And we're talking about pets. There's something about a pet, getting a pet, giving a pet. Maybe you're getting a dog. I don't know. And we got earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Overall energy, there's a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so there could be some of y'all that live at a distance with someone and you have a pet or they have a pet or they're like, hey, baby, you know, I think maybe we should get a pet. So you have company. Company. What is that company? Oh my goodness, y'all. Anyways, <laughs> distance. We have that of not enough. You do not, you're lacking the confidence. Maybe you're having a lot of fears in this relationship or your partner is or the person that you're missing, okay? Separated. Some of y'all might have recently went through a breakup and they took the pet. <laughs> taking the dog. What is that legally blonde? I'm taking the dog. Do what you got to do. Ain't nobody taking my babies. I don't have pets because I get too attached. Earth signs. So maybe it's not even so much about earth signs, but it's getting grounded and, and, and finding out what it is you really want. Your challenge is you need more time to kind of heal from a relationship, heal from a situation, heal from what's going on in order to move to the next level, right? Or the next thing. All right, let's see here. What does our beautiful Libra need to know? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus as they're moving forward this month. What is what is at the base? The wheel, the wheel of fortune again. Definitely moving forward. The tenth is going to be very important. In the center, there's that hermit. So this is the second time, different deck, that you have the wheel right by the hermit. Be very quiet about how you're moving and where you're going. You've been doing a lot of developing and growth. And yeah, that breakup might have really got you. And look who was here again, King of Pentacles. That breakup might have really got you. But you know what? <laughs> You moving on. You got the double nine. There could be a major move coming in. Someone is leaving a situation, moving out, moving up, moving to a different state, taking the dogs. Okay. <laughs> the 18th could be important. Also pay attention to the 17th and the 18th. Okay. We're working on ourselves. We're manifesting. We're moving forward. And we're going towards our hopes, our dreams, our wishes. And for some of y'all who are wondering, am I going to get back with my ex? I'm going to say it's a no because I have 999. And usually when I see three nines in a read, it's significant to a big ending. So you're going to put yourself back out there, baby. You're going back with the page of wands. Okay? And that could be maybe you're meeting a long, a long, a long, a young fire sign Leo because you had Leo show up in your read. Very beautiful energy coming through for you. I think it's really exciting. Um, you know, heartbreak sucks. I'm not going to act like it doesn't. But you're ready. You're ready for good things. The wheel wants you to know it was a betrayal with the three of swords and you're moving on from it. The hermit with the nine of pentacles. Some of y'all cut somebody off financially. Okay. You got or you got cut off. There was some with the finances, baby. You moved out. And there's that trip. Uh, some of y'all found something out about somebody's business trip. Yeah. Libra. That's why you like, I'm single for a reason. And there's the nine of wands. Now, damn it to hell, you got one, two, three, four, five nines in your read. It's over. It's over. We don't even talk anymore. No. Okay. But they will try to reach out. And I think that you've been working really hard on standing on business and not engaging in that conversation. The Queen of Wands, you're, you're really enjoying. I think you had a glow up. Okay, they get a glow up. And you've changed. Okay, you've changed. You look amazing. You're hot. Or maybe you got your eye on a hottie. I don't know. I don't know your life. And you trusted your intuition. And those are keys. So some of y'all are getting keys to a new building, a new place. And we're not telling anybody where we're going. We're taking a break with the Four of Swords. 
We don't even talk anymore. Page of Wands said, hey all let's go out, let's do it. Let's get on our chariot. Ew, ew, chariot, we gone. Here you are living your best life, ew. And there's the past trying to creep back. And you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it with that Eight of Swords. You're not going back to that connection where you felt like you weren't enough. Some of y'all were wondering, was there someone else? Was there someone else with the Three of Swords and the Seduction card looking at me? Yeah, there was. Okay. Either way it goes, Libra, that story is over. We're moving on. We're moving forward. And that heartbreak is going to lead you to one of the best situations of your life because you're moving. You could be moving due to a work situation also with the Eight of Roses there and the Eight of Pentacles. Could be seeing the number 888. And for confirmation, you're seeing a lot of nines, okay? A lot, a lot of nines. So this is like one of those things that maybe you're going through the heartbreak right now. You're questioning yourself. You're questioning your self-worth. But baby, this was like, this led to your glow up. Like you is like hella fine, okay? Like people are like, damn, Libra. I know Libras look good all the time, but like Libra, you looking real good, real good, Okay. So let's get some clues. If you want to know um, what is your ex thinking, let's kind of look at that energy. What is the ex thinking? What is that person that put them in a bad situation that they're separated from? What are they going through? What are they thinking? Secrets. I haven't told you everything. I let my ego get in the way. And I'm afraid I've ran out of time, uh, too late to take action. The shadow side of this individual, you made me realize my flaws. I think that you're so strong and you're so um, able to move to the next level and do what you want to do that they're a little bit intimidated by you, okay? And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot, <laughs> okay? So what would they say to you? What would they say to you for those that are wondering? I was selfish and stuck in my ego. That's confirmation. I need to work on myself. I'm trying to clear my head, but I want you back in my bed. I added that, okay? I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense, and I'm caught up in a karmic relationship. So this is like your confirmation that it's over. It's time to move on, and it's time to move forward. So let's look and see who is coming in for you. Where do those cards go now? I'm like, oh, here they are. Give me a description of the individual that is coming in for our beautiful Libras. Taurus energy, very feminine energy. Okay, fair-skinned. Then we have masculine energy with Taurus also. So the masculine energy coming in is going to be a little bit darker. They have very, very beautiful hair, very beautiful eyes, um, reddish brown hair, round face, warm face, very innocent looking Leo energy. Confirmation with that. And they like to talk. They're medium built. They're not They're not too tall. They're not too short. But they do love to talk. They got the gift of gab. <laughs> Is it a Gemini? No, I'm just like, <laughs> Let's see here. Clues. They will notify you through email. There's also something about maybe online dating. And the number 38. They eat very healthy, okay? And this person is like very calm also. They're very, very calm. Birthday 426 or the date 426 might be important. They've been heartbroken before, okay? But they, they're they ready. They've built that bridge. They've built up their heart and they're also climbing the corporate ladder. Confirmation, y'all could be meeting online or uh, there could be some distance between you guys to where y'all like talk constantly online, okay? All right. Let's move on to our couples. What's going on, couples? These are people who know each other. They know they're together and they know what's up, all right? We have patience. Just a few more, just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. Pregnancy, okay, you know. All right, and cycles, okay? Fate and karma. Overall, we have a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Okay, so we have possible pregnancy coming through here. Okay, okay, exciting, exciting. And let's see this energy. What do we need to have patience? What's the good things coming to? What are, what are, what good things? Have faith, love is coming. Pregnancy with a soulmate. And enjoy the talking phase. Enjoy getting to know each other. And yes, a fire sign is the chaser. Okay, they've been after your ass for a while. 
Can they catch you? I don't know. What is Libra's person's story? They're like so into you. They have their rose colored glasses. They're just like, I'm so into you. I'm so into you. They're in love, baby. They are in love with you. How do they feel about them? Nine of Wands. <laughs> They're like, good Lord. I love you, Libra, and you just keep hurting me. <laughs> Why? They are ready to initiate this relationship. They're ready to walk through the fire. What comes between y'all is the five of cups. And overall is the king of cups. Um, and the king of pentacles. So this is also confirmation that you might be getting recognition at work. Or they could. Someone could be moving away for work. Something of that energy. I don't know why. Why they see you as the nine of wands. We're about to find out. Like why? Okay. So you might be dealing with an earth sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign, king of cups. Well, damn it. Let's just say you could be dealing with all the signs because you're so fine, right? Four of cups energy is the knight of cups or the knave of cups, okay? The page of cups. Um, I feel like sometimes they're afraid that if they don't act fast enough with you, you're off and on to the next. Like you're just a hot commodity. You're a hottie with a body and they know it and they can't keep their eyes off of you, okay? They want to be slow dancing, quick dancing, romancing, up in the sheets with you, Okay, they're ready to take a trip, take a chance, and go for it. Let's do this, okay? They don't even give a damn. They're like, I don't care. I'll go do it. Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords. There was a trip, okay, there's a trip, and they're afraid that if you go on this trip without them or they go without you, you're going to think they did something wrong or vice versa. Why? Two of Pentacles. Sometimes they feel like their work may make it difficult for them to balance everything. The Ace of Wands, they're ready to talk about it. Look, they're like, look, can we get married? Can we do this? What's going on? Let's go on a trip together. Six of Swords. Let's make things better. Why are we at the Five of Cups? The Knave of Pentacles. Watch your drinking this month, Libra. Like, watch how much you drink. Watch how much your partner drinks. Maybe there's some unkind words that are going to be said because y'all really do love each other. Ace of Cups. And we end with the King of Cups here, and he's looking towards the future and what he sees is marriage with the Hierophant, okay? This person sees marriage. I'm just telling you. And it's so funny. I listen to, the, I listen to like my playlist while I'm shuffling and clearing the cards. And um, that song, More Than Words, came on. And I feel like the way this person feels about you is deeper than love. Like the King of Cups with the Hierophant is someone who just can't get enough of you. They're in awe of you, and that's beautiful. The King of Pentacles is saying the Queen of Swords. I think you're gonna shun out, you're gonna close the door to someone who took too long to show you how much they loved you, and you're gonna go with this individual that is like, let's do this, let's get married, I love you, let's take it to the next level because this is the wheel and it's just fate. It's, it's our destiny. So this is like destined for marriage. Destined for marriage. All right. Beautiful read. We're going to leave it at that. We'll get a little bit of guidance to kind of help you through the month. There is a little bit of shakeups with the way that you use your words with this individual. I think they're very sensitive. <laughs> they have a lot of water placements because you're like you hurt their feelings a lot. They're like, damn, like I thought you loved me, right? Do you even like me? Like, what the hell? They get very confused about the way that you do things sometimes, okay? Um, Oracle read for you. Let's get that out and let's get a little bit of Lenormand this month for any messages they need to know for their higher and greatest good. We got the bouquet. The journal. So there's beautiful news or a beautiful secret. A new secret, possibly about a pregnancy, okay? That something's coming to an end. There's like this beautiful secret, okay? And I'm going to say there's somebody who might be offered a business, uh, going to work out of state. out. Of, there's something about business. And the 814 really sticks out. And pay attention to the 17th, okay? And this is going to be quick. So it might be like, look, I have to move away for work. Let's get married. Move with me. Come with me. And they just want you to drop everything and go with them or vice versa. Because I do see someone getting a business deal, okay? All right, let's get, and I'm going to do your money read in just a minute on another video. 
Let's see here. What do we got here? We got you've been thinking about other possibilities, other chances, but you really want to work on family. You're appreciating the way that they treat you, but you're trying to find the balance between work and love and having a family, and patience is going to be needed in family issues. You do have a lot of envy around you. Like People are so jealous of you because you're just so beautiful and so fine and so funny and so amazing. And because they don't even like themselves. <laughs> like, how can you be jealous of others, right? Okay. Let's get into the signs. This is where we're going to go from Aries to Pisces. Remember, this is a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading, you can book on my link tree. Dates to remember are the 2nd, the 5th, the 7th, the 8th, the 10th, 17th, 25th, 28th, and the number 888999. Okay. I don't know what I do with my dice, to be honest, because I always have my dice up here. Let me grab one. Oh, there it is. No. What is this one? Not the one I want, but it'll do. Okay. It's not the one I want, but okay. Okay, that's it. Let's cut the deck. So, I do believe things are going to be revealed, especially around the eclipse, and the answer is yes. Yes. Say yes to the dress, babe. Say yes. Stop, Stop saying no when it feels so good to say yes. Okay, that's it. Okay, here you are, Libra. Libra, you are ready to face your fears and go for it. You're strong with courage. And Aries is unsure about the future. They don't know if they're, we're going to make it. We need to talk about our finances and balance. The second is going to be important. And the third. Here you are upset with the five of cups. And Taurus is like, baby, let's just get married. Like, what are we? Let's go move in together. They've been praying about this. And I believe prayer is the answer in this situation. It's time, it's time for someone to remove their mask and really, really talk about what they want. Pay attention to, this, to the sixth and the ninth. Here you are as the sun. It's a damn dirty yes. And Gemini isn't talking. Why are they not talking? Because they want, you're coming to see Gemini because they're not talking. And they're coming to see you. And y'all are going um, toe to toe, like they say, okay? Yes, it's going to be a victory. I think Gemini is just like unsure about how to move forward. The ninth could be important. Here you are, you kind of feel like someone is not fulfilling their promise to you and Cancer is like, I love you, three of cups, like what's going on? And there could be someone coming in the middle or a passion, a desire that needs to be discussed, okay? The 11th could be important. You are here standing on business with justice, baby. And Leo said, come and get my love. They want to change the situation. They're like, come on, transform me, baby. And the solution is sexual healing. Three majors. We got justice, the star, and death. Pay attention to the 11th, 17th, 13th, and 7th. You got yourself a Leo, baby. You got a lover for life. Libras and Leos get along pretty good. Like, you really want... That, that's just like a beautiful energy. Libra and Leos. Okay? I'm a Leo. Hey. I'm just like, here you are as the Six of Pentacles. All right? You're finding your balance. You're, you're moving forward. And Virgo is... Uh, Virgo knows something. So if you're trying to hide something or they are, like, they're here. They're one step ahead of you. The first was important. The sixth and the second. You're not love. You're not feeling a situation. And the other Libra wants to work on it. And the solution is there's just, we're butting heads. One person is not in love. One person is not in the finances. And someone saw someone with someone else. And it's just a rough situation. The fifth could be important. And the eighth. Here you are. Moving forward with the wheel. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And Scorpio said, can I, can I, can I um, meet you in the middle? It makes me think of making a baby. And the solution is watch your words with each other, okay? Watch your words because y'all can hurt each other's feelings. The 10th could be important and the 5th. Here you are as the hangman trying to balance everything, trying to trust the universe and move forward. And Sagittarius is not budging. They're being difficult. They're spinning their wheels. And the solution is possibly counseling or outside help. Maybe even prayer, okay? We really need some prayers in this relationship. The seventh could be important, and the twelfth. Here you are. You're not feeling complete. You're not feeling like a part of this family. And Capricorn is having issues at work. 
The solution is we have got to release control. Or we don't want to be controlled. The tenth and the first could be important. You are the queen of wands reversed, meaning you are being a little rough around these edges. Okay, Libra. And Aquarius said, let it all fall apart. Baby, don't play with me. And the solution is wipe the slate clean and let's start all over with Genesis, okay? We need the trump card to come out. A lucky day could have been the second and pay attention on the 16th. Here you are, you've been praying, doing your prayers, and Pisces feels attacked. And the solution is, don't neglect your feelings. Let's talk about it, be about it. Lucky days could be the 8th and the 9th, and there's the 9th again. So pay attention to even the 18th. What are you praying about here? Unconditional love. You actually love Pisces very much unconditionally, but Pisces is misunderstanding the situation in here. And do not neglect your feelings and do not neglect your goals in order to have that snake take your goals, okay? And your goals could be financial goals, so don't get caught up in the hype. Do what's best for you. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful month. Be sure to come on. Follow me over there on Instagram and click on my link tree to book a read. Take care.